Hi, and welcome to the National Park. On behalf of the government that funds us and other rangers that patrol the park, we hope you have a nice time here and don't die. There are now more than 4,000 national parks around the world, and there are many things in these parks that can totally kill you. In fact, just in the United States, six people die each week in national parks, and search and rescue teams get deployed over 3,000 times a year. In a minute, I'll give you a few important tips that can help save your life. But our job is not just to protect you from the national parks. Our bigger job is to protect the park from you. That's right, some of the animals may be dangerous, but you visitors are the biggest killers. Mostly with your cars. Just in Yosemite National Park alone, officials reported that 300 black bears were struck by cars during a 17-year period. Road kills in parks are painfully common. You're literally driving into and killing the very animals you came to see. On the other hand, once you hit them with your car, you can have a pretty good look. Still, we all enjoy the animals more that haven't been hit by your car. Then you got the poachers, who illegally hunt deer, bear, wolves, and mountain lions. These people are total assholes. If you see one, please report them. Plus there's the trash. Every year, more than 318 million people visit America's 419 national park sites and leave 100 million tons of garbage behind. And then you've got the visitors who leave litter on the trails or others who prefer to break branches. And of course, there are a few perverts who seem to get off by carving their name into rocks. Now let's talk fire. The University of Colorado's recent study showed that in a 20-year period across the U.S., 84% of wildfires were started by humans. So please, for the love of God, put out your frickin' campfires properly and only light fires in designated spots. It just takes one moron to burn the whole frickin' place down. That's why we're strict about it. That's why we ban cigarettes. And that's why we beg you not to drive or idle over dry grass. And if you need to reveal to your family that you're having a baby boy or baby girl, spare the fireworks and send them a text message like a civilized human. If you can't just enjoy the nature without trashing the place or killing the animals, please stay the fuck away. That's what cities are for. Now when it comes to your risks, sure, you can get attacked by a bear or a mountain lion, but that's not how most people die in parks. More people die in car accidents, largely caused by driving into other cars that have stopped suddenly to look at the animals or let them cross the road. And then you've got those who get lost or sprain their ankle or knee and get dehydrated or freeze to death. So if you want to survive your trip to the national park, here are just a few things that could save your life. For starters, watch out for selfie injuries. Seriously, people have fallen off of cliffs while posing for their own phones. Just last year in Yellowstone Park, a woman was catapulted into the air by a charging buffalo she tried to capture with a selfie. Two, even if you can swim, Rivers with fast-moving water aren't a smart place to take a dip. Drowning, at least in the U.S., is one of the top killers in parks. 3. Don't head off on a hike thinking you can depend on your phone. Your battery can die, you might drop your phone and break it, or more likely, there's just no coverage. Bring actual old-school paper maps and even a compass. 4. If there are wild animals around and you're camping, don't keep the food in your tent unless you intend to share it with a bear. Hang it safely from the trees. Five, check the weather before you go. Even if it looks nice when you leave, that doesn't mean it can't change in a hurry. Bring appropriate clothing and even some extra snacks. Six, don't feed the animals. They don't need a Starbucks addiction and that pizza crust can end up killing them. Seven, and finally, please stop coming to national parks to commit suicide. Suicides are the third leading cause of death in US parks. We'd really rather you not kill yourself at all, and we hope you can get the help you need. Perhaps, when you're ready, a nice walk in the park can be helpful. Thank you for listening, and please continue to enjoy the national parks of the world.